Hi fam, it's Dylan's mum, Deborah. This is Dylan Friend. He gives you a back rub. This is, you know, you're going well, Brian. Oh, it's special. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Just keep showing up and find a way. Cam was so nervous he couldn't swallow water. Handed him a sheet of paper with six names and said, Chief, we've got to cut these six blokes. Wow, shut up. I've just been barbed by a stingray, mate. I'm just yelling, oh, you saved my life, you saved my life, you saved my life. Thank you, thank you. I spent the last, I think it was a couple of weeks in jail. The deepest, darkest moments often bring about our biggest highs. Yes, welcome back to Footy and Friends. Brett, how are you, my friend? Ah, uh, good to be good back, to set, mate. mate. How are the trails down in Gold Coast? Um, I didn't take the bike <laughs> to the Goldie, you fucking idiot. No, I, uh, I went, uh, I was actually on the Goldie to watch footy, mate. Watch the under-16s up yes. there. See the ride next... up there? No, I, I did a lot of walking, <laughs> okay. mate. My calves, and like your calves, oh, they don't good. handle the, the pavement anymore. So No, I know. Yeah, but before that, the Wednesday, the Saturday, yeah. I was out on the trails, and I sent you a video. You did send me a trail. You got a bit of air. Yeah, a little bit of air, you mate. Did get yeah, a, bit of air. Oh, a little double up, and then on the, on the bike, I was. Um, <laughs> oh, come mate, on. it was uh, it was so wet. It was actually dangerous. Yeah, but, um, well, you're, you're a danger, Brett. They call you. No, they don't. Yeah, um, they do. They I'll, call post you on the that, I'll post that just to prove that I actually do get out. It's not just uh, mythical. Collaborate that with Dylan Friends and, and Monster Energy. Dimmer. I'm going to take Dimmer when yeah, he gets back from Europe, so we can all go. Hey, we've got a new special guest in the studio today. I'm very excited about this. You're one of your clients, one of my favourite players. Big. One of my favourite people, actually. We're, we're, it's funny because he's one of my favourite people, but we're in a bit of a feud at the moment. Yeah. Going head to head. What's happening? Well, Dill's cooking. Yeah. What? Yeah, Dill's cooking on the weekend. <laughs> no, on segment. Sunday who's mornings. Heard of, who's heard of that? On Sunday mornings on Instagram, I cook breakfast oh, and I put it out to my thing? audience. And now we've got, welcome, Cam Zerr, the bull in the, mm. in the show. I thought it was yeah. for your dog. I thought you did dog's breakfast <laughs> oh, that you were cooking. Mate. He's got me some jokes from the Gold Jeez, Coast. Man. I like it. <laughs> mate, it was um, rubbish. Can you not have seen his stuff? Well, that well, he well, I'm trying to welcome him to the podcast. <laughs> Let's let him say something. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. No, thanks for having me, mate. Are you excited? Pleasure, pleasure. Yeah, you've been you've been calling me out lately on Instagram. I have been calling him out. It's good to be here. It is good to be here. And how are you feeling about, just quickly, like, Professional AFL play, professional environment. You deserve all the support you can get. You can get. You've got the great, you know, contracts, all these things. And then you find out your manager is Rod's mountain bike bikes. riding on the weekends. Like, does that <laughs> no. sort of what happens yeah, with that? It does is worry that? me. The old age. Don't know if he's going to be around for that much <laughs> do you, longer. Do you ever but, call uh, him and guy goes Jesus. like, "Mate, I need this contract." He goes, "Yeah, mate, so I'm at a reception just up on uh, <laughs> Mount Terror." <laughs> Mount <laughs> Terrible. Yeah, Mount yeah. Terrible. yeah That's he answers, come yeah, up with. I didn't know any other on ones. his AirPods as he's yeah. going down the yeah. tracks. Geez, <laughs> you've ran with this, haven't you? Oh, it's fantastic. It's a bit like your shitty performance on me as a halfback. Yeah, like, well, it, it's, they're all true. They're all true. Cam, how are you? I'm good. Good. Uh, a bit sore from the weekend, but yeah, uh, yeah it's a uh, new week now, so get on with it. Hey, the ball is um, big like in person like he's a big boy a big boy on the field but very big like off field how tall are you 190 something? just 190 190 yeah. flat yeah, like that's 190 big flat. isn't it what are you Brett you're 188 86 yeah. 188 yeah, yeah that's it I think there's a there's a lot of other big guys in the league. No, but, you, but, but you're a medium. You're a medium, t- like small forward, medium forward. Yeah, medium you're big. forward. Yeah, you're big. Anyway, yeah, he hits hard. Thanks. When yeah. blokes stay hit, when he gets them, don't worry yeah, about it's that. Get like me on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get in. Let's get into the show. Um, mate, tell us about yourself at the moment. Obviously, bulls cooking is absolutely mm. flying off. You are doing a good job, as much as I like to joke around. How did this all come about? Uh, yeah, well, probably, oh, geez, I always love cooking. Yeah. And then obviously moving out of home from Perth, uh, you got to start fending for yourself a bit. And uh, yeah, mummy's not cooking for you anymore. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just loved it a bit. And then during lockdown, me and uh, my housemate, Jimmy Harold, uh, started a little Instagram. Mm. He was filming, obviously. And uh, we're actually living in Brett's house. So charged me like triple rent. <laughs> oh, he would, he would be too. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Let's like, not get the truth getting away with a good story. Charged me ridiculous rent, and <laughs> yeah. then uh, yeah, I was making cooking videos at uh, yeah in Richmond, and uh, yeah, it was uh, good. And then yeah, the last year or so, I started to uh, um, take it a bit more seriously, get a couple more followers, and uh, yeah, we're here now and loving it. How good is it having a bit of an escape outside of footy? I know that I, I don't reckon. Did you have much doing like that outside of footy when you were playing? Uh, not not in term, not as something I was passionate about yeah, like that. I love playing yeah. golf and yeah. had a little bit of study, but nothing that I was really passionate about. Yeah. Like uh, like he is with his cooking. It's um, if you get a chance, have you been lucky enough to have some one one yeah. one, uh, one opportunity? <laughs> yeah, he, we did. We filmed something up for him for the page and whatever else. And mate, unbelievable! Just mm. the 
the effort that goes, you know, homemade pasta and, uh, and tomato based sauce. You used, do is. I just, I just kept eating. <laughs> yeah. I rolled out of there. Yeah, it was good. Hey, before we get into it, boys, well, I just want to say a big shout out to JD Sports. Just told the bull he's gone down to JD yeah, Sports. He's got his voucher. <laughs> he's very excited to get down there. Yeah, Anything beauty. for your mum, your nan, your dad, your cousin, your manager, whatever you like. Well, you've been down to, you've been lucky <laughs> enough to come to JD Sports with me a lot. They're very good to you, Brettles. They are. Um, all of your sneakers, all of your tracksuit shoes, anything sports related. I'm actually going out to, me and Darcy are actually going out to the opening all right. in Werribee on Thursday, 12 o'clock. If you want to come see us, come say good day. New JD Sports in Werribee. Might have to get Mick Barlow down there. Oh, the Werribee football he'll, he'll be down there. He'll be down there. He'll probably be out there handing out flyers for the game on the weekend. <laughs> so we'll, we'll get down to Werribee. Free tickets. JD Sports, come down, say good day. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll be on Thursday. Will you going to get your, where's the closest to you? Probably Melbourne Central. Uh, Where are you at the moment? I'm in St Kilda. St Kilda. It's probably Chatty. Chatty? There's, mm, there's one in Chatty. Yeah, 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 there is. There is. Uh, we'll, we'll sort it out for you, mate. That'd be good. So, big thanks to JD Sports for that one. Now, spoke about your um, your cooking, mate, which we love. Just quickly on the cooking, back to that. Best dishes. Because for those, there might be, you know, I know the AFL world know what you're doing, but for those who don't, it's mainly meats, smoked meats. Yeah, big into meats at the moment. Yeah. Uh, on the smoker, I'd go Traeger. Uh, I've got this Argentinian grill, brand new one. Have you got an egg? No, I don't have an egg. Are don't they need good? It. An egg or? No, no, those. You know those eggs? <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the cooking? Dom doesn't make a supermarket, those yeah. eggs. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, I've seen the green egg. Yeah, the yeah, green I've egg. Yeah, I've seen them. Uh, what do they do? How do they good. cook? I don't no, actually know. It's over charcoal and you can smoke on it. You can oh, yeah. uh, grill on it. You can do a lot of things. But um, yeah, I don't really have room for it. I've got about five Barbies in my backyard. So yeah, not much space in there anymore. What's your specialty? Uh, probably like a short rib. On mm. the on the smoker, or mm. maybe a little Dylan friends, footy and friends thing around at Bull's house. I think we do that. I think we definitely do <laughs> could, that. Now could be on the cards. I was a. He, he's not certain on that. No. I, don't think, <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think he's. I don't think he's guaranteed on he, it. He's yet. basically he, invited himself he, over to my joint. I don't think he's, he's sort of like. Yeah, we'll see the dates. Um, I was a vegetarian. I was probably a flexitarian for a while. I'm actually Jesus. dabbling back in meat. So maybe you could be the one that. Helps me. Um, pescatarian or just like. I was sort of a flexitarian. What is that? Which is basically like I'm vego, but would. That's wishy washy, that it's, is. It's sort of like I'd eat. Like I don't at home always vegetarian, but if I'm out now and there's like a steak and stuff, I'll get back into it. No wonder you're so skinny. I know. I know. <laughs> not good. his guts, mate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Brett. <laughs> see, he's, he's, come, he's come with a very refreshed after a big mountain bike trip. I think it's the fresh air that he gets up, up the mountains be. that he's feeling Must good. No, you just get a few sh- shots fired back at you, mate, because yeah, I, I like just sit it. here and cop it I most like weeks. I like it, mate. It's good. It's good. This is my question, okay? This is a hard one for you. It might get you in a little sweat bit of trouble. Here. Sorry, don't sweat up. It's okay. It's hot now. Is... If you could only pick one player at North to go on to be the man, Sheasel or Wardlaw, who would you pick? Oh, jeez. Uh, Sheasel. Yeah. Yeah, flat out, because I've got an issue with Wardlaw at the moment. Is that because he likes to dress <clears throat> like you? No, Wardlaw what? lost Kangalotto, and I'm in charge of Kangalotto. What's Kangalotto? You know no. It's, uh, yes, this, does that mean shave now? Yeah, you got to shave your head. Oh, and he didn't <laughs> shave it? Oh, he shaved the back. And he's left the front, and he looks so bad. He's got a, he's got an interesting haircut. Yeah, he does, and uh, <laughs> yeah, he hasn't shaved it, and not happy about it. Okay, I'm not anyway. So, um, so what does that mean? Does he have a fine or something coming his way? He will have definitely something coming his way. Yeah. I'm really not happy with it. Yeah, <laughs> he's so, re- so he's rolled a dice or something. Nah, and it's- so we got this big, uh, big wi- uh, a wheel, yeah, a wheel. wheel. No, yeah. with uh, you balls, know, in like it. balls in it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, One yeah, of those yeah. Things. yeah. What are they called? Tattersall thing. Is it? Yeah. Lucky dip. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, whatever it anyway, is. Anyway, so if your ball comes out after a black ball, you got to shave your head. So we have it once a month just to raise, oh, once every two months or whatever, to raise money for end of year excursion. Yep. yep. So, uh, yeah, he came out and uh, he lost. We right. had that same thing yeah. years ago with uh, Geordie McMahon. He had to have a beautiful, long, he was luscious handsome. locks. Mm. He well, is handsome. He still is handsome. Yeah. Yeah. And we got him with, his, but that time he had a choice, 500 bucks or shave your head. He's like, well, I'm not paying 500, so I lopped it off. And it's like, oh, he looked even better. Did <laughs> he you shave his head? He shaved it. All have gone. you ever shaved yours? Yeah, but not you because I was. Day, I used to shave it because yeah. it got hot in summer. Yeah, yeah. I used we, to shave mine. As mate, I got Griffin Logue. <laughs> last tip. I got Griffin Logue at the start of the year when he used to have the long locks and got him uh, Kangalotto and shaved it. Now he's got a girlfriend, supermodel, best decision of his life. Mm. I think that shaving the head is... Yeah. Uh, gets, yeah, I think it's good for you. It is. Yeah. It, uh, I got a few mates so that don't want to do it because they think think that that's going to be their their last one. You know, it won't grow back. No, but this is the thing, you know. I've looking and coming from someone from experience with very uh, you know messed up hairline and large <laughs> forehead, thinning thinning out hair. The shorter it is, the better. Yeah. When you have long hair and you, it's wispy, and it looks a lot it worse. It looks a lot worse. You just got to get rid of it. Yeah. 
You so bite the bullet. Wish I knew that sort of mm. four years ago. Would have saved me a few embarrassing photos. Hey, uh, moving on to the weekend. Unfortunately, the boys went down. We will talk holistically AFL today because I'd love to get your opinions, um, Bull. But you lost, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. But the jumper on the weekend. Yeah, cool That jumper, was the coolest wasn't jumper I've ever seen. Like, yeah. that's the, the jumper of the year. Yeah. Do you, you like it? Jumper of the year. Oregon jumper of the year. Big call. Like, in the AFL, jumper of the year. It is a sick jumper. Yeah. Yeah, very happy with it. Uh, all Have blue. Have you worn it yet? Never worn it. That's the first time we've worn it Loved as a club. It. What's her throwback to? What do you mean? Uh, like, 90s? Like, yeah, no, because they've worn that jumper before, I'm pretty sure. No, nah, I don't think so. Have they? Yeah, I thought- not, I No, thought, that one was full blue. blue. Whereas it used to have like maybe two stripes behind mm. it as well. Oh, yeah. I think that's a yeah, one-off as well. That's the only time we ever oh. wear it. Because oh, right. I think mm. it was normally you wear your Clash jersey, but yeah. Geelong weren't happy with us wearing our Clash jersey or something because it still clashes. Yeah. yeah. Then. yeah. And uh, yeah, we had the once-off blue jersey. Were well, they wearing their cool. Indigenous one on the weekend? No. Nah, oh, they just weren't. Just normal. Normal. Thing. Oh, uh, pretty sure. Yeah. As I said before, <laughs> short-term memory. So yeah. I've got yeah. no idea. You can't remember what you're Yeah, that's not good. Um, No, easily by far my favourite jumper. So it made me think today- to go through historically, yeah, our favourite jumpers, just from fans, footy growing up. Like, what do you remember? Just going, fuck, I want that jumper yeah. in the collection. And then, secondly, what's your favourite jumper you've got in your own personal collection? Okay. Um, well, I was always uh, avid long, long sleeve wearer back in the day for training and that sort of stuff. With mm. skinny little arms when I was mm. when I was a pup, but I love the eagle stuff. I said, Dad, I got to have this long sleeve. I said the eagles number three on the back. Love Juddy. Yeah. Um, so it was just the old school. Eagles was it a on. bit loose back because they weren't tight? No, back they in weren't. The day. Yeah, no. So they sort of flared out yeah. a little bit. Um, they weren't the skin tight ones <laughs> that you see the boys wearing these days. But I reckon that was my favourite one as a as a pup. Yeah. Yeah. Nostalgically, I've just brought up as well. I don't. I reckon you would have known this. Might be a bit too young um, for this, but remember, the, like back in the day when skins first came yep. in, the Puma, and the Puma ones. <laughs> remember them? Do you remember them? The old, definitely not. Oh, definitely they're they're too cotton. young. They'll cotton. So you know, like two XU skins, yeah, like yeah. whatever they they're are tight. called now. They're tight as back before then. They used to be like they were like cotton leggings, nearly. Yeah. Like they weren't even that tight on no, your skin, no, but they, they kept had, you warm. They had Pumas just all over them. They were literally the coolest things I've ever yeah. seen. I don't they know, were. I've ever seen them in my life. All right, I'll get a photo off for you because like, it's genuinely Ben Cousins, Daniel Kerr, yep. like they were all just wearing them they back were. in the day. I, I mean, I had a pair of those as well. I used to love rocking them. Dad was like, you should get some tights, that'd be good. And I was like, I don't think so. I'm making sure I had the shorts on yeah, over the top yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, you have to wear the shorts on as Pretty well. Pre-pubescent teen. Back in the day, my favourite jumper, it's hard, to, it's hard to split them, but I reckon Carlton did two really cool ones. One was, I loved the light blue one, like the jumper you're wearing. Oh, yeah. That light blue, yeah. do you remember that? The light blue jumper they did. It was like the M&M yep. sort of thing. Yeah. They did the Livestrong one as well, which obviously- The yellow one. The yellow one. Yeah. And then there was this Heritage round, which I still don't know why we're not doing Heritage yep. round. That, that is like my favorite round of the year. And it was like a navy jumper with like printed like the frills, like here to like oh, yeah. lace up. And there yep. was like a yellow- Yeah. We have one of those at the tears yeah. as well. Yeah, right. Um, I, yeah, I reckon my favorite Jerry, one. You know, we'll not, can't remember the weekend. He's not remembering yeah. what happened. I don't even remember those jerseys, but anyway. What's just, your most nostalgic? Because you're a WA uh, boy. Yeah, WA boy. West Coast or Freo? Fremantle. Freo. Grew up. Uh, definitely the Freo, the purple anchor. Yeah. The, the OG the old one. school, red, yeah. white, and yep. purple. That one was probably my favorite. And then, they wore that a couple of years ago too, didn't they? I they wore it last, last year. I think they redid it, yeah. yeah. Um, Should wear that every game. Looks cool. Yeah, cool yeah. jersey. Pretty vintage, yeah. Yeah. Who'd you like? What, Pav? Because you were only young, so there's still yeah, probably some boys. did love that... Pav. I love Ben Cousins. Yeah. That's just because he played for West Coast, yeah, so. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he wasn't out for you. Um, who else do I love? Uh, Des Headland. Desi Headland, yeah. Uh, Jeff Farmer. Farmer. The Wiz. The Wiz, yeah. He was a guru. Um, yeah, that's pretty much Daniel it. Daniel Pierce. Daniel Chick. I love Daniel Chick. I don't yeah, know he why. played for West Coast. Clancy as well. Pierce. <laughs> He played for, he didn't play for Freya. Yeah, but uh, still WA. Yeah, of course. Yeah, w, uh, Do you remember sh- Daniel Pierce? Daniel when Pierce, he yeah, lefty. From, yeah, when you- he went from Port to... Yeah, to Freya. He did too. Yeah, yeah number six. Lefty. I, know, um, I just remember that. I remember him. Yeah, he used a nice move. Oh, can I just say my favourite jumper? Say it, please. I think it's... Well, I've got a couple that I'll just like to mention. Obviously, your first jumper is one that you like to... Uh, I've still got back at home. Yeah. Mum's got... And then I reckon there's a, an indigenous Dreamtime jumper. The, it's like one of the first ones that came out where they actually mm. did the designs on yeah. it. I kept that and I won the boomerang. So that's always been a special one for me. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> with hey? the awards. Yeah, that's why it's, loves awards, that's why it's a special jumbo. And it's not for sale. A lot of people have asked me for it, and it's not for sale. Oh, Unless for a very good price. <laughs> well, <laughs> money talks. Wow. Money wow. talks. Yeah, it's, you know, never you say no. Keep doing podcasts for free. You got to make your money oh. somewhere. <laughs> so, I think Mick Barlow's invoicing for, all for free everyone. Yeah, I think he's, he said he'll fix your voice up. Um, my favourite jumper in my own personal collection would be, funnily enough, one of a friend of ours. Uh, Oh, I'll tell a story. We had a night here at the studio uh, in the off season, and and Toby put on my long sleeve Carlton white, oh, yeah. white, oh, white Carlton one. jersey, and I haven't seen it since. But he assures me that he's got it somewhere. So that's like well, one he took of it my. Home. He took it. He left with it on. So that's one of my favourites <laughs> that I've got somewhere. Another one would be um, another white one was when we played in the Anzac Day game in New Zealand. Oh yeah, and it has like the row the um. Yeah. The what's the poppy? Road? The poppy, yeah, yeah, the poppy on it. And then the other one would just be, yeah. There's, oh, there was another one as well. It was like a it had every single member's name. Oh on yeah, the we had a couple of well. those as well. Yeah, so some cool, some just cool in, in the um, yeah, inside the jumper there. Yeah, yeah. it's good. <laughs> yeah, favorite jumper bull. Uh, really like this year's indigenous one. Yeah, that was a Mate, did, did you collect them? Do you keep them? Uh, yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I, I, I think I've got I think all. I might have them actually, to be honest. I don't, yeah. I don't know. I loved I all of those. I got like my first game one and the old, the last long sleeve that was mm. worn for the Tigs. But yep. um, all my Indigenous ones, love them. 100%. My, awesome. I've got the Giants one. I've got all the Carlton ones. Because um, they only on come same, in not that long ago. Them too. They only come in not that long ago, didn't yeah. they? The actual jumpers. I reckon I've had it my whole career. Right. So my whole, like that yeah. eight year, I reckon it was like the start of it nearly. Mm-hmm. But it's so cool. And just on the um, Indigenous jumpers, like the coolest part about it that maybe the the outside world don't get to see is like when the boys get up and tell the story mm. of actually yeah. what's on the jumper yeah. and explain it to the whole crew. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, it's very special. All right, jumpers. Oh, the last one I mentioned on it was on Heritage Round was um, Essendon when they, that year, Essendon Bulldogs wore like. So this is my thing, right? I don't know who I was talking to this with and I apologise for forgetting who it was, but we're talking about white shorts like away shorts yeah. where you oh shoot. you wear the matching colour yeah yeah the Tigers did that too one year with Essendon the did it as well yellow so ones. they wore like I a red it. jump like a black jumper red stripe with red shorts yep yeah right yellow you so wore like yellow so the Swannies do where they wear yes. their red uh, or their white so the thing was the discussion we were having was like could you see in a world where there's no away shorts anymore no white ones. No you white wear, you ones. Just wear, you wear a colour. Yeah, wear a I colour. wanted that with the Richmond ones. Yeah. I love our white shorts. Me too, but like... Some blokes don't. <laughs> they look yeah. like they've got a big fat ass. You know? <laughs> but I like it when, like... I like it if you guys wore, like... You wear blue shorts yeah, with blue the home. White, yeah. yeah, but ho- white would nearly be your colour because it's in your jumper. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's more for clubs like Bulldogs, Essendon, yeah, Richmond. Yeah. Um, probably Brisbane. Hawthorne, get the old brown ones Yeah, back. brown shorts. Brown and like, yellow. For those clubs. Brown. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, well, I reckon it's worth something worth. Uh, I think maybe you should go to Dills with it. You know, yeah, Andrew Dillon. Yeah, you know, so I've got a big, new little thing for you. Big Dillo, bringing this in. Um, <laughs> there's your thing that you come in to the uh, <laughs> yeah the big seat with. Yeah, yeah not a bad, not a bad shout out. So you might have to take it out of the podcast and no one steals it. Uh, results from the weekend. Do you watch much footy? No, you don't I watch like any. None. Nothing like no. if you're playing, you don't watch a Friday night, Saturday night game. Uh, no, not really. Not really. No, my housemates love it. So. Yeah, been watching the cricket lately. Talk to you the cricket. What's been happening? I don't watch it at no. all. You like the cricket, don't you? Yeah, I watch cricket. Yeah. yeah. I, I just want to, on the weekends, I could tip nine. So that's uh, Go through them. You, you review them, <laughs> yeah. Brett. No, you want. No, you I, review I, I don't them. need to tell what everyone, what everyone knows who won on but, the weekend. But tell, I us tip your, nine. tell us your psyche behind the tips. Well, Tiggs beat the Swans. Yeah. Right. So I'm obviously going to go with the Tiggs. And yeah. I think they're on a bit of a bit of an upward trend. Does Mark Walter get the. Oh, I think he does. Yeah. But. That's only because I don't reckon they want to rock the boat too much in, um, in, the, in the club land. The only thing is. And from someone who's been at a club when coaches get sacked mm-hmm. a lot. As have I. Yeah. As is, has Cam. <laughs> as, yeah, so all of us. Is <laughs> the fact that it, there's always that honeymoon period. Mm. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. towards the end of the year where it's like just fresh and everyone's up and about. And that can quickly yeah. lose that. I think their the game year. style stacks up though. Yeah, and, for sure. You know, if you've got a whole new uh, a coach comes in, he's going to have whole new philosophies. He's going to have to come in, reteach that. So they're going to see a downward trend before they see it spike back yeah. up. No, I like him. Um, what did you think about on the weekend with him and Nan Curtis, Curtis and, and not, the argument? And not saying anything? Yeah. Uh, it's well, classic it, Richmond, isn't it? Like that Dimmer would do the exact same thing. Yeah. And yeah. that's what he would ask of Nank every single week. He'd say, mate, come out, put your head over it and mm. be the enforcer that we want you to be. Clear the path of my mids. You're going to get some right. You're going to get some wrong. Um, 
But he, all he needed to do was mention that we don't like to see that, you know, Jake Lloyd get hit in the face yeah. and hit in the head, whatever. Um, Pies can't back against those guys. They are just that good to watch. The Eagles were never beating the Lions at the Gabba. Um, Giants over the Hawks. I, I think the Giants boys are only just outside the uh, the eight at the moment. They're, they're going really well. You guys, have you guys heard of someone called Stephen Cornelia? Yeah, I know him. Yeah. yeah. He used to play with him. He used to wear number three. You know what that is? That's Wood. Knock, knock. Who's there? Stephen. Stephen who? Cornelia. Oh, well done. I'm back. Jesus. He is. <laughs> Did you like that? Oh, that Did you just come up with that? <laughs> just real quick? That was so crispy, wasn't it? Damn. That's a, we're really on today with yeah, the, okay. the mountain biking and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, D's, oh, I think they're still too good, but they... Um, the D's, got, I don't know. Only just so, because the Saints, well, they were down to two blokes on the bench. Yeah. Um, did you, I actually did watch a bit of that game. Yeah, okay. I watched about the first five minutes. Yeah. Oh, what did you take out of that? Five. <laughs> <laughs> good start. Hot early. King, King. <laughs> I saw King went off. That was about it. Man. Yeah. He that, did his shoulders out for the rest of the year. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, favorite it's, player, so just turned it off quickly. Literally, mm. he's your favorite player from the Saints. All right, Machito yeah. Owens, my favorite player from the Saints. I love watching him he's play. He's too similar they're, they're, they're to both the that mid, yeah, that mid forward competing in all uh, Australian spots. You know, so I can't like him. No, no I'm saying that's why the Bulls competed oh, with him. So that's why he didn't like him. Yes, yeah. Port always going to get it done over the Suns. Yeah. Um, I wish Sheridan was on here for this one. Oh, <laughs> they've been woeful the last couple of weeks. Poor old pussy cats. I tipped them as well over uh, Bulls uh, Ruse. Yeah, supporting manager. Obviously. Yeah, he's been good. Yeah. Support you, bro. I don't support the uh, result <laughs> other than in my tipping. Um, <laughs> Great manager. Bombers always. Uh, I thought they were always going to get it done because the crows don't travel that well, and the the bombers are actually sneakily good. Um, just on this, I've uh, young Scott outside said that that could be a first round final oh, elimination yeah. final at Adelaide Oval. Could be. So if it's at Adelaide Oval. You'd, you'd, have to back, you'd have to back Adelaide. Yeah, they, they, they're, they're a different team, home and away. Uh, and then you've got Carlton over the Dockers. Now everyone picked the Dockers, but I went with the Blues, mate. I yeah. thought they're uh, starting to get a little bit of mojo back. Lids off. It's <laughs> flag Blues. <laughs> no, they're no, on their no, way, no, are they? That's Goz's thing. I'm definitely not going to. I just I try and play it cool with them, and hopefully they. What did, what did you make of the game? Well, did you watch it, or did I, you see any of it? I did watch it, but I I think that this year and supporters aren't going to like this but I think we're in wor- worst of both worlds at the moment because you're in gonna, the middle tier you're not we're gonna in get the middle tier picks. we're going to get to yeah. the end of the year and be like 10th and get like pick 12 pick 12 <laughs> when it's like I think we should just continue to be shit for the rest of the year not like tank you know what I mean like <laughs> so if you're not going to make the finals yeah like well, that, that's a, that's a hard thing isn't it because you, you're in it up but you until need to sell, you're not, you need to then, sell hope as well and that's what well, they I haven't mean, done so it's yeah. you, you need to, I'm jo- tongue in cheek I'm totally joking you need to keep winning yeah but also I think it's going to not be I think as players though, and you'd be able to chime in on this too Cam like I remember when we were playing and we were we shit all chime in on this, top, yeah. Yeah. yeah but you you are trying your ass off every single week even though you know that, like at one stage, we had Nathan Brown defending uh, Paul. No, Paul Johnson was defending Nathan Brown in the back yeah. pocket. Paul Johnson was a ruckman on Nathan Brown, who's mm. at you know, your height. Well, I said this to, uh, I don't know who it was, Dust, jump in, but we were talking about teams. Uh, I think it was Hodge. And we we're talking about when you're the best team. Um, and we actually used the analogies of like, at the moment, North Melbourne are training 10 times harder yeah. in different ways than what some of the best teams are like they're actually you know i've been there like it's still trying to get more out of yourself and the, 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 the sort of lower you're on the ladder the actual harder it is because yeah. you're competing when you're winning so you're sweet much. yeah it's, very <laughs> it's easy. awesome place to be when it's you're really winning. easy um hey uh but on that game on the weekend north geelong and jump in if you have any uh comments on those mm. bits not expecting you to tell club secrets but what's that journey like down the category like do you find it challenging because you're in melbourne but you're an hour away mm. you stay down yeah, I did actually. Oh, you stayed yeah. down there. I went. I stayed down in Torquay the night before. Yeah, just at a mate's place or something. Yeah, just at a mate's place <laughs> down in Torquay, which is nice. About yeah. three of us, me, Griff, and uh, Curdy. Yeah. So I stayed the night down there. I was going to stay Sunday night, but yeah. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Griff got injured, so I had to drive him home. Yeah. But uh, it's just a hard, hard ground. It's very hostile. Uh, Geelong, a lot of Geelong supporters. Not really many North. Yeah. Um, really nice oval though. Jesus, going to be good when beautiful the, yeah. when the whole stadium's finished. Uh, but yeah, it's just a they're hard, hard to play against down there, aren't they? They just know the they ground. Know well. yeah. they, play, they train there every single day. Yeah. They defend um, it that well. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's definitely difficult. Or well, as you can see on the weekend, but uh, yeah, as you said before, like I feel like we're training so much harder than everyone else. Yeah. Like we're busting our ass every single week. We're trying our best, 
but uh, yeah, just at the moment, the rewards aren't coming for us. It'll come, man. Like, well, well, I can't say it will come, but I know, I know if you keep doing what you're doing, it ha- like hard work it, pays it, off. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. Um, any, this is general, more even at you, Brad. I know the boys would know, but probably not even. Is there any word on Clarko? Is he coming back this year? Or is it next year? Thing? Yeah, he is. He's, yeah. Uh, yeah, we got told a couple, two weeks ago or something. Yeah. He's coming back. So oh, awesome. I think he's just starting to integrate. The next couple of weeks, we haven't seen him yet. Yep. But uh, he's talking to rats a bit from yeah, the outside noise that yeah. we hear. But yeah, he's talking to rats and the coaches now, so um, which is awesome. And yeah, looking forward to having him back. Hey, good. How's rats been? Yeah, rats been incredible. To be honest, yeah. he's uh, he's a different cat. He is as, different, yeah. uh, did he see the yardbark? Did he? Oh, I had him my first year. Did yeah, you? yeah did, first did, year at Carlton. He didn't um, see the nude handstands. Or was that bolts? No, that was a little bit after. <laughs> yeah, but I remember one day I tell <laughs> it's a shocking story. But I remember one day like. Rats came. It's, I say this in like all respect to rats. Like, there's no disrespect in saying this. He was right in his way to say this to me. But I mean, one day, like, he came up to me after a VFL game and he's like, What are you doing? <laughs> and I was like, Oh, like, I think I'd had like a shit game. He's like, Oh, I'm like, Mate, I really, yeah, I'm not sure. He goes, like, No, nah, no, nah, like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't think I really understand the question. And he's just like, what are you doing? And I was like, to be honest, mate, I fucking have no idea. And he just like, just walked off. I was like, yeah, <laughs> oh, that's just it. Oh, okay. All right, beautiful. Wow. Um, and no follow up. No, 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 no follow up. But it was, it was, it was a kick. It was a kick I needed. I, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even know what the question was. But I yeah. just thought it meant you're not going what. Yeah. You so think what did you, you do? You went are. home and you're like, right, come up with the answer. Yeah, come up with the answer. Gonna, yeah. It's a yeah. difficult question. It's a, it's a very hard. I'm like, what are you doing? What am I doing right now? What am I doing? <laughs> what happened on the weekend? No, like, not much, man. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> and I thought the general answer was, I don't know what you're talking about. Was just be like, holistically, I don't know what I'm doing yeah. with my life and with this football thing yeah. at the moment. But anyway, um, enough about me. Enough about me. That was that was a fun <laughs> time. Um, yeah, we spoke about playing the cats. Best team you've played this year. Um, that's a good question. Yeah, thanks. Geez, you, who uh, haven't you played yet? Uh, don't know. Who doesn't, doesn't, doesn't remember? Oh, <laughs> doesn't remember. Um, jeez, Adelaide and Adelaide was bloody hard. Yeah, that was a really. That was only a couple of weeks ago, that wasn't was it? Two weeks ago. Yeah, that yeah. was. Um, yeah, that was. They so looked slick that day. They were so good. They, and I think I had seventy inside fifties. They dominated. Offense, us. aren't they? They just yeah. Super cool. They hunt too, don't they? Like their forward pack is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, like they've got some serious talent down there. So, yeah, um, yeah they'd definitely be up there. Melbourne gave us a run for our money as well. They're a great side. Yeah, um, yeah, and Port Port as well. But we challenged them pretty good. Who is your favourite player to battle, and who's maybe one of your toughest opponents uh, so far? Probably Maynard. Yeah. yeah, everyone loves playing. Like everyone that <clears throat> he's like that. I, we've had him on the podcast as well. And like mm-hmm. even when I was watching him play, when I first saw him, I was like, I fucking hate this guy. <laughs> but do you know what I mean? In yeah. a way of like, that's the, nearly the most ultimate respect you can give yeah. him is by yeah. saying you hate him because he's so mm. fucking good. Like, yeah, good mates with him. Yeah, and it's always a fun battle. Um, yeah, he's got the hold of me once and. Also stepped in on the, a couple of weeks ago, so pretty stoked. You let that. him know about it? Let him know about yeah. it. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> well, it was yours, mate, that you... Uh... It was yours. Ben <laughs> <laughs> Stratton. Me and Lingy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, mate. <laughs> it was mine? Oh, I don't know, probably John Johnson in the fucking VFL or something. I'm not oh, yeah. sure. He was a good player. <laughs> yeah, he played for Coburg, I think. Well, ben Stratton was a bit like that, though, because outside world is like, oh, he looks like a niggler, pinch, does yeah. all that sort of stuff. But he played hard, but then he was actually fine off the off the turf. And yeah, we didn't share a beer in him, but he was mm-hmm. actually not a bad fella. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to keep out with Strats. On the piss? Yeah. Um, he yeah. DJs, I think. I'm not sure if he still does, but anyway. Um, who's your tough... Like, I know you were just saying then, uh, Maynard, your fa- your, one of your favourite opponents, who's the toughest you've ever played on? Um, Anyone gloved you? Oh, Connor Arden. Yeah, big really? seeker. A couple of weeks big seeker ago. from yeah. the Giants. Yeah, got yeah. hold of him two years ago and then he uh, yeah, gloved me this year. There you go. So, yeah, good battle with him. He's strong. Oh, He's yeah. And fit. Yeah. He works seeker. hard. He, you know, he turned himself around just by training with Topes through yeah. a full off season mm. down here in Geelong. And just worked his ass off to go from being a bit part player to not really being yeah. there to yeah. just, you know, a lock and a really underrated player. Yeah. yeah. 
That, no, that whole back line is really, when you think about it, oh, Sam Taylor's been given an All-Australian. But, Sam, but like even Jack, Jack Buckley. Buckley's easily one of the hardest working blokes you've ever seen mm. play. Like he's running of what he would run in those like per metre, um, high intensity meters. per metres, yeah. like is just... He's hectic. One bloke at the Giants. Did you have that technology back there in your day? No, not when I first started. No. It was great. You didn't have to worry about it. And they didn't have behind the goals. It was like, that yeah. wasn't me. That uh, was the death. That was the death. Yeah. That was, that was not goals. good. <coughs> um, with uh, the games, Brett, what was yeah. your favourite game of the week? Anything particularly catch your mind? Uh, favourite game of the week. Let me just have a Bulldogs look, Collingwood. Look back. Did you learn anything there? Um, how many Matt, games of footy do you watch a weekend? Not many this weekend, to no. be honest. I was uh, a while. I was up on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you like that, did you? <laughs> You're a dickhead. Um, to be honest, mate, I reckon it probably was that that game. Yeah, that there one. was just a couple of good sides, but you just see the the flex that Colin would have when they need it, and yep. I just enjoy watching um, young Nick Dacos go to work, and, and we don't always sing his praises, but. Christ, he's going to be a good player. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. That and to see Pendles to uh, overtake that mark. Do you reckon we could have done a little bit more with that? I heard someone talking about on radio today. He's got the most disposals ever. And all he got was a little footy from from Gill. You know, whereas LeBron, most points ever. Yeah. Don't stop. That'll do. We're not doing anything until... Yeah. Uh, Did you want the game to stop? Well, I, I thought about it at the time. Well, in you know? saying that, he's, a lot of his touches were just... Kicking it around no, to try and get. Now, like, I reckon the meters gained of that game wasn't wasn't uh, a lot going forwards. Not that I can talk about it. No, no, no you could, you, we don't do that in Australia. We don't celebrate individual sort of stuff mm, that much, yeah. other than the awards at the end of the year. But I just thought at the time, um, I don't know. Did you see the stat around um, Craig Bradley? No, I didn't. So there was this stat talking about obviously Pendles is number one in the mm. AFL now, but Craig Bradley, completely wrong on these stats. But I think it was something like he played seven years of Samful before he came yeah. to the AFL. Yeah, he did. And the equivalent. He still played 375. Yeah, equivalent of his possessions. So it would have been like 475 games or 450 games. Mm. He would be at 11,000 possessions. <laughs> yeah. If That's they counted his Samful yeah. as well. How mental is that? I used to love Bradles. Oh. Been a Carlton supporter. Have I ever told you about the Brattle story? No, nah, tell me. Have I ever told? Well, fucking, of course, I haven't told. <laughs> Have I told the Brattle story too much? Is that the one about the the prank call? Do you remember it? Okay, I'll tell you this story. So, back in the day, and this still to this day haunts me. I don't know what the hell happened, but I'd come off the. I think it was round one, and we would lost. And I came off the track, and we we're on like the because it was a Thursday night, so it would have been like a Saturday morning, or maybe no, it would have been Friday. It would have been Friday, Friday. morning. After and, you played the Tigs. Yeah, so we've come off and done a bit of like a rehab run. And I come to my locker and I see my phone. I've got like seven missed calls from like a number I don't have. I was like, what the fuck? And then the message said, deal with Bradles, call me. And I was like, okay. So I called him and he's like, yeah, mate, where are you? I was like, hey, mate, I just finished um training. What's happening? He goes, mate, I'm at the cafe down in Ligon Street. I was like... Oh yeah, what what are you doing? He goes, mate, you fucking called me last night, and you said that you want to catch up for a coffee. And I was like, what? He's like, you called me last night, and you said that you want to catch up for a coffee, and like I've been here for an hour. I took the day off work. Where the fuck? Where are you? And I was like, mate, like I'm so like at this stage, everyone in the locker room sort of like crowding around because yeah. I could sort of sense that something wasn't right. I'm like, mate, like I'm so so. I don't know what's going on. Like, I didn't call you last night. Someone's pranked him. He goes, you fucking called me. Like, he wasn't angry, but he was sort of, like, pissed off because he's taking the day off work, as you would be. But I was like, mate, I'm so sorry. Like, I did not call you. Like, I don't know what's going on. (laughs) Long story short, like, we finished and I just messaged him. I'm like, mate, I'm so sorry. And then all of a sudden, like, Shane O'Sullivan and Stephen Savani came down and grabbed me. So, like, he'd called them and been like, Dylan's tried to meet me and not come. Someone's pranked him, said it was me, <laughs> and wanted to go and meet him at a cafe for a chat about like the game and how I can become. Which, to be honest, I would have really liked to have yeah. done, but I just didn't think of it myself. Yeah, and yeah, to this day, like I still don't know who it was. <laughs> I still have no idea like what happened. Oh, Brad, was Mate, he's down gone there. down. He's gone down and taken a day off. And I was like, oh, it's so like they came. Like the list manager and like the GM have come down. And like, mate, why'd you call Braddles? I was like. I fucking didn't call him. Like, here's my like number. Here's my phone. Yeah. And I was like, did did the person leave a number for you to him? And he's like, no, they called on private. I was like, okay, Come on, well, there we go. That's, that's what's happened. Someone's pranked. <laughs> and I was like, it was just the most awkward thing ever. So I reckon one of the boys at the club or someone's called him, but then seen what a 
because it caused like the no, like literally club great club yeah. leading like leading games club Record legend holder. and yeah. someone's fucking wasted his time it wasn't me <laughs> no wonder called shitty. my old man called everyone everyone's like why'd you call him I didn't fucking call him <laughs> mate. I don't know what the fuck's going on but yeah it was um pretty awkward mm. fair prank don't yeah. mind that yeah well we're doing funny I, I still to this day like would love to if someone you, could come if someone's now, listening now and knows oh, Please get in touch. I'd love to. Follow, yeah. I don't know who it was, but it was. Um, well, I'd love to get that person and Brattles in here at the same time. Which me too. <laughs> Just have a little chin <laughs> wag. Me too. Um, best pranks, anyway. Has anyone pulled a prank on you, boys? You uh, did your fish one last week with Grimesy. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I've had that one done to death. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> M- made a little error. No, I've not too many on me, to be honest. Not on you? No. No. There's, uh, oh, there's some wars between Steve O and. Uh, Griff at the, in the locker room. Really? Just, uh, yeah, just cups of water taped inside the locker, that old chestnut where it falls out when you open your locker. Um, and then a lot of boys are really fucking with Griff lately, like putting a lot of stuff in his locker. I don't know why. That's not good. So, um, And then there's always, uh, there's always keys at the bottom of the ice bath. Car keys? Yeah, car keys <laughs> and bags. It gets pretty heavy. Boys wow. Don't, boys don't like it. You wouldn't want the uh, computer chip... Um uh, keys or anything to be at the bottom of it. Oh well, they tape it all up and then they chuck it in. Oh, so so it's it's all plastic. Smart. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very so. smart. The best one was um, Jeremy Laidler used to have a scooter and he'd drive it in and every like lunchtime would go and pick it up and move it to like certain places and he'd just always lose his scooter so he had to start parking like around the block <laughs> so no one would move his scooter. <laughs> anyway, Bulls Burgers. Yeah. What's happening there? Uh, yeah, just Jesus. Jesus, mate. Sorry, man. It's not um, a burger. <laughs> Can't eat it. No, nah, just uh, talking to a couple of mates at the moment about uh, yeah, opening up a burger joint. Is that with Co and Co? Uh, well, I was speaking real early about yep. it, but uh, yeah, would, uh, just in the pipeline. That's what in the, the pipeline at yeah. the moment. Just uh, yeah, getting some ideas together and yeah, potential and opening up a burger joint. But be so long cool. run, long run would be a nice wine bar. Mm. Uh, maybe when I finish footy, but uh, yeah, wouldn't mind getting something open up in the next couple of years while I'm still just a few on burgers. Uh, yeah, a burger and wine joint would be pretty cool and yeah. unique. Yeah, it would. But uh, yeah, like not that. really sure. Just uh, yeah, looking forward to off season where I can actually put some ideas on paper and yeah. start. Even just having the idea, it's cool to just have them mm. in the back of the head, and it comes to fruition in a few um, <coughs> years' time. Boys, a few questions to finish. I know you've got hard outs. Um, from M Barlow <laughs> said, "Is Bull looking for a new manager?" One that isn't full-time mountain biker. <laughs> You're a twat, Barlow. That was my, that's not me. It's Mick. <laughs> that's oh, Mick. I'm mad at enough of that bloke. He's gone too hard with this mountain biking rubbish. I don't I'm, I'm going to get him the sponsorship with Mosh. That's yeah. what I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, but no, I'm pretty happy with Brett so far. Thanks, buddy. He hasn't pushed me that. off yet, but that's good. it's early days. Fantastic. Uh, Matty Wills, 31. Can Brett pop a wheelie on his bike? <laughs> <laughs> no, no more. That's that's all there is. Was that serious? That's serious. Right. Well, wait, 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 wait till we post the uh, the video. The little bunny hop. Yeah, wait till we post the bunny hop. Then you'll see Maddie Wills if it's possible. Uh, Crawf 18, we did sort of touch on this one, but said, Bull, why is it so hard to play down at the Cattery? They're used to it. Yeah, weather. difficult environment. It was actually, it was not too bad weather, but the rain was on and off, so a bit slippery, but yep. yeah, just difficult place to play. At Suaro said... Does Bull see the light at the end of the tunnel for the north? Dill and Brett went through the same at Carlton and Richmond. Yeah, Thank definitely. Um, the amount of youth that's coming through and some serious talent, George mm. Warlaw and Sheasel. Uh, and, I yeah. love uh, oh, God. Paul Curtis. Paul Curtis, he's, he's very, very good. Yeah. But David Juniaki. David Juniaki. No, another yeah. young bloke, uh, young uh, red hair. Blake Jury. Blake, Blake Jury. <laughs> love him. He's yeah. going to be a star. Yeah, so, no, I do see light. There's, he's um, going to be a star, Brett. <laughs> Brett, he's going to be a star. <laughs> I he's, throw playing, star. he's played two games. I, I said he's going to be a star. I saw I saw his highlights on Baseline <laughs> last year. <laughs> oh, whoa, shit. Well, that confirms it, doesn't it? Christ. No, he is, he is going to be a good player. Thank he's you, uh, thank played you. a couple of games, but... Thank uh, you very much. Yeah, he just needs a bit more time to develop You're his star, body. And, You're uh, a star. <laughs> yeah, he'll be good. Stars. Yeah, mate. <laughs> very good. Um, Charlie Griffin said, Bull, do you ever, have you ever eaten kangaroo? Uh, yes, I have. Actually, really tasty. Uh, tail? Tail, as in what? No, have you eaten the tail of the... the is it the tail that you've eaten? Or is it the kangaroo? Oh, pass, I don't know. Yeah. I just bought it from the butcher once. Okay. Um, real lean. Yeah, it is so, lean meat, um, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, but really nice. If you cook it well, it has to be cooked well. What does it taste like? Beef? 
What does it taste like? I've never had it. It tastes like um, a bit beefy, yeah, bit gamey. Be, be, yeah, very gamey. Yeah, very gamey. Do you everyone, know everyone reckons they're. I know gamey. Like well, I did go to um, South Africa once and they were at this restaurant. It was like a meat restaurant and they'd come around with these big sticks and just cut oh, yeah, shit yeah, off your yeah. plate. And it was like crocodile, they're antelope. Like the all you can eat ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah it good. was just like some weird, uh, weird things in there. Um, last but not least, from Darcy Obst said, What's the most underrated meal you can cook? Underrated? Underrated. Yeah. Um, probably vegetables, as in like- uh, Char-grilled? Yeah, char-grilled I veggies. I love veggies. Yeah, I know you do love veggies. But <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> underrated. <laughs> uh, yeah, anything over coals and charcoal just makes it so much better. <laughs> well, let's lock in. Maybe I'll chat with you, his manager, about the <laughs> yeah. about the event. When we can get to We don't want to invite, him, I invite ourselves over, but you know, we'll- We'll probably just go there. Yeah. We'll just go let's there. Turn. I know where he lives. Okay, <laughs> yeah, um, great. Awesome. Thank you very much. Hey, Brett, it's always good to see you, my friend. Yeah, likewise, Have mate. a safe week. Yep. Yeah, I'm not riding this week, so okay, it's Okay, we'll just be safe anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, the bull, thanks so much for coming in, man. Perfect. Thanks Appreciate so much, it. And Cheers. good luck this week. Perfect. Who Thank you. Got? you. Uh, Hawthorne. Go. Oh, Hawthorne. it's a winnable one. It's, a winnable one. it's, at, it's a... uh, at Marvel. So, yeah, yeah Sunday, oh, nice. Sunday Arbor. Get down there. Who do you normally get? Oh, God, nice. No Who idea. gets you? Maybe Sisley. Who though? takes most dangerous? Oh, Sisley's back oh, this week. Sure you... Is he back? Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Probably, I don't so, know. Maybe Sisley, or he'll probably make just a... won't go on anyone and yeah. does his own game. Oh, but, yeah. we like that. <laughs> we like that. <laughs> Maybe make, make a meal of him. Put him on the smoker. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, okay. (laughs) There we go. Thanks so much. Brought to you by the friends of JD Sports. I said the bull's going to get his voucher down there. He's going to get his new balances. He might get something for his friends, his family. Yeah. Brett, you loved it out there. The girls love their stuff. Yes, mate. Absolutely. Fantastic. And make sure you get out there on Thursday, wherever if you're around the area, come say hello. Um, and we'll chat. I love it so much. Wednesday, 12 p.m. Sorry, Thursday, 12 p.m. Werribee, JD Sports. I'm there. You're there. We're all there. Love JD Sports so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Iliaxx. Iliaxx. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>